హలో వెల్కమ్ టు మోడల్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ వాల్మన్ కాంప్లెక్సిఫికేషన్ కంటిన్యూడ్ దిస్ టైమ్ వీ విల్ స్టడీ యూనివర్సల్ ప్రాపర్టీ ఆఫ్ వాల్మన్ కాంప్లెక్సిఫికేషన్ సో హియర్ ఈజ్ అ థియరమ్ ద స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ క్వైట్ ఎలాబరేట్ హియర్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ ఏ కాంపాక్ట్ హౌస్ డోర్ స్పేస్ and a continuous function from x to y then given an ultra closed filter f1x the image filter f check of f is convergent to a unique point f hat of f in y it is convergent in y and the point convergence point is unique that unique point i am denoting it by f hat of f that is the meaning of convergent to unique point here okay after all it depends upon both uh, the filter as well as the function f the association f going to this f hat of f which you have just defined because of the uniqueness of the convergence of this f check of f this is a continuous function from the space of all ultra closed filters right this is wallman compactification to the given compact or top space and it has the property that f hat composite phi is identity uh, is identically f the original function f so think of e as an inclusion map of x inside wx this is not this f hat is nothing but the extension of f that is the way i would like to think of f the third condition tells you the uniqueness of f hat itself namely any continuous function g from wx to y such that g composite phi is f is equal to f hat okay so this is the universal property of the compactification that we are discussing now so let us go through the proof of this one okay so this is the picture that i have in mind of what i am going to do starting with a continuous function of course we have to assume y is compact of dor okay i want to get a function here f hat and i have already described how this function is got take an element here that means an ultra closed filter the image filter under f that's a filter on y it may not be ultra closed or anything but it is what it is convergent because y is compact and that convergence is unique because y is hausdorff wall so that is the function f hat we have to show that this f hat is continuous and this diagram is commutative okay such a f hat is unique is the last part the uniqueness here indicated by a chic now suppose f check of f is not convergent in y okay what does this mean it means that for every y inside y there exists a open neighborhood b y of y in y which does not belong to f check of y uh, f check of f so this is what we have seen earlier any filter does not converge means you have neighborhoods like this okay does not converge for every point you must have a neighborhood which is not in this this is what we have used earlier also but this is the meaning what is the meaning of this f of f inverse of ui ui is a neighborhood of y inside capital y so f inverse of ui that is an open subset of x now f of that is contained inside ui right so ui is not is also not inside uh, f of f right if uh, this ui is neighborhood ui which does not belong to f check of f 
okay means even this is not inside because if this is if this set is there then u i would have it because it is a super set right but this means that f inverse of u i is not in f right if f inverse of u i is not in f then image of f would have been in uh, f check of f if f it is in f check of f then u i would be in f check of f so that is the chain here so what we have got is that an open subset f inverse of u i of x is not in f okay since y is compact we can choose finitely many y i such that y is covered by this finitely many open sets u y i for each y you are getting this one now but then what happens if you take inverse images of this they will cover x so x will be the union of i ring 1 to f inverse of u y i and this x is inside f again we are using the last thing that we have proved last time <laughs> and we, we used it now we are using it again here so what does this mean this means that one of them is inside f and that's a contradiction so we conclude that f check of f is convergent so the point is we are not proving f check is an ultra closed filter if that is the case then we don't need to repeat this proof proof okay and it is not true also it is not true that even it's a closed filter in general nothing is needed okay we go back to uh, x and do the work there and conclude that the image check image uh, filter must be uh, convergent and the convergence is uniqueness follows because y is all star that is an extra assumption okay this proves one so the function is there now automatically what is this function if you start with the uh, If, if if you start with uh, uh, x here and go to phi x, what is phi x? Phi x is the atomic filter f. What is f check of phi x? It is uh, it is f of f x. It is the atomic filter generated by the singleton f x and that filter will not convert to any other point than fx right therefore f fat of x must be equal to fx f fat of vx must be equal to fx so if you come this way and go by f fat what you get is f is the conclusion here so that is what i have done here now i repeat it note that if f is fx for some x which is the meaning of that this f is phi of x that is the definition right since fx converges to x it follows that f check of fx converges to fx this just means that f fat of vx is fx okay i saw it in a different way because f check of fx is nothing but f of fx the atomic filter generated by fx okay we need to show that f fat from wx to y is continuous with the topology here being the wallman wallman compactification topology whatever you have defined so start with a u a neighborhood of y in f check of f f hat of f f hat of f is some point inside y okay for some f inside wx so i must produce a neighborhood such that that neighborhood goes inside u okay choose an open set v such that y belongs to v contained inside v bar contained inside u i start with an open subset u and which is a neighborhood of 
why which is why i am assuming it's f fat of f okay so how can you get this one this is because y is compact hausdorff means it is also regular compact hausdorff space is a t4 space okay so in particular it is regular also and hence what we get is a neighborhood v y belonging to v contained in v bar contained inside it now we claim that this f is inside f inverse of v plus f inverse of v is open inside y f inverse of v plus will be an open neighbor open subset in the wallman compactification i want to say that this curly f that we started with this filter is here moreover under f hat this f inverse of v plus goes inside u so once i state it is very clear that this happens but let us verify this one since y is f hat of f that means what it is the limit of f check of f and that limit is inside v we have this neighborhood v is inside f check of v okay nx the whole of ny is inside f check of f so in particular v is here hence there exists some a belonging to f such that this f a must be contained inside v v is a superset of f a that is the way f check is defined you take all image of members of f by little f and then take supersets that is the way f check is defined so there is some member here a inside curly f f of a contains is contained in v so that is the meaning of that v belongs to f check of f but this means a is contained in f inverse of v right and this a is inside f that means f inverse of v must be inside f because f is a filter that means this filter is in f inverse of v plus okay one part is over now i have to show that this f inverse of v plus is mapped inside u by f hat what does that mean take any ultra closed filter belonging to this set f inverse of v plus okay look at its unique point to which it converges that convergent point must be inside u that is the meaning of f hat right so start with f prime inside f inverse of v plus which is just the meaning f inverse of v belongs to f prime okay what did this mean f of this one will be inside f of f prime f of f prime is contained in the f check of f prime okay this is a set here but that is contained in each member here so this is a set of subset sets right each member here is contained inside this one or uh, is it uh, belongs with f check of f check that is another family okay so in particular this f of f inverse of v is a member of f check of f prime since f of f inverse of v is contained in v contained inside v bar it's a closed set so v bar must be inside this one okay from the remark 7.43 uh, which we have used several times it follows that the limit f hat of f prime the limit of this one okay f check of f prime that must be inside v bar okay and that v bar is inside u in fact it is it be inside v also right for every v if this one is there the limit point must be inside that one so v bar inside u this completes the proof of the continuity of f hat and hence that of the proof proof with that of statement 2 statement 2 is we wanted to show that the association defines a continuous function 
and the commutativity is already seen very easily. Okay, now let us prove three. The but three is a consequence of the fact that phi x is dense in W x, and y is Hausdorff. Remember that if you have a Hausdorff space. Suppose you have two continuous functions from one space to a Hausdorff space y. Then the set of points wherein the two functions agree that is a closed subset. Okay. Now apply that to this situation. You have two functions x to y. Okay, what are they? You have actually two functions w x to y. What are they? They are both extensions of the same f, or you may say that phi composite uh, f hat composite phi is uh, f is also equal to some g composite f. What does that mean here? If you think of phi as phi x as a subset of w x. Both of them may agree on v x, but v x is dense. Therefore, v x bar is the whole space. If they agree on v x, they must be agreeing on v x bar because v x bar is the closure of v x. So, a, a closed set containing v x must be containing v x bar. That v x bar is the whole space. Therefore, the two functions agree on the whole space. Okay, so this is this theorem is what we mean by universal property of W. It would have been fantastic if we could prove such a thing without y being Hausdorff, just y y t one space. Okay, unfortunately we are not able to do that. Okay, that is one of the drawbacks of. Of Wallman compactification, I would say. All right. Returning to our remark seven point seventy two, let us suppose that the Wallman compactification W X of the space is Hausdorff. So I just made this remark. Okay. Take a special case, namely W X is Hausdorff. Since a compact Hausdorff space is a Tikhonov space, and Tikhonov property is hereditary, it follows that X is a Tikhonov space. Okay. So I said it would have been wonderful and all that, but the very fact that No, the Wallman compactification is meant to get a compactification of a larger class of spaces. Okay, so if you want it to be Hausdorff, you are forced to do it only for Tikhonov spaces. So this is inherent. If you want to think of this as a, uh, you know, weakness, then it is inherent. In what you are trying to do, there is no other way. You you cannot expect W X to be compact, uh, W X to be Hausdorff all the time. Okay, that is not possible. That was not the intention of Wallman at all. All right. So that is the point of making this remark. So, so we have to accept it. All right. Having done that, let us see what we can do when it is Hausdorff. So x is already in our Tikhonov space because W x is Hausdorff. The moment it is a Tikhonov space, we can also get the Stonecheck compactification e comma e x bar. So this makes sense. Okay. So what is the difference between these two compactifications? Is the natural question that we want to investigate now. Okay, so this is answered by the 
two universal properties of both these compactification. So, take E E x bar denote the stone chest compactification. By the universal property of E E x bar, okay, we have a unique con continuous function phi hat from E x bar to W x such that phi hat composite e is equal to phi. This is similar to what we have done for Wallman compactification just now. Okay. Moreover, since E x bar is a compact Hausdorff space, we can apply the previous theorem okay, just now that we have proved. We get a function E hat from W x to E x bar such that E hat composite phi is equal to E. Okay. So, we did it for x to y a function f and then we call it f hat. Now, this is f is e hat e. So, I have got e hat here. So, what we have got is here x is your space which is a Tikhonov space. It is sitting inside stone check compactification here and Wallman compactification there. Okay. So, this is the stone check embedding here and this phi is the Wallman uh, embedding okay, x going to the atomic filter f x. So, what happens? This function gets extended to E hat see from here E is like this. So, it gets extended to E hat like this and this function gets extended to phi hat here. Okay. Now, what happens to phi hat composite E hat? That will be an extension of E inside E x itself. Okay. But the universal property of E x bar says that there cannot be two different extensions. Identity function from E x bar to E x bar is already an extension of E, right? Obviously. E composite identity is E, right? So, there will be two of them, namely phi hat composite uh, come back by E hat, E hat, and the identity. So, there cannot be two. That means that this composite, this is identity of E x bar. Exactly same way, E hat composite phi hat will be identity of W x. What is the meaning of this? That these are homeomorphisms not only that uh, they are homeomorphisms, they are commuting with these embeddings. The embedded object x goes to the embedded object. The homeomorphism, if you think of this as subset of both of them, the homeomorphism can be thought of as identity on the subset. Okay? So, it is in this strong sense that we say that the stone check compactification and the Wallman compactification are the same for a Tikhonov space such that its Wallman compactification is Hausdorff. We have to assume that. Okay, that is the conclusion. The general question is when is Wallman compactification is Hausdorff? Suppose you assume it is Tikhonov space. Suppose you grant that. Will you immediately say that x is uh, uh, w x is Hausdorff? That is not. That is not a answer. You may need some more conditions. Okay, one doesn't know that. Huh? So we will stop here. Uh, this is a good point to stop this uh, study here. We can't go on doing that. So, next time we will start a new topic. Thank you.